Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video and before I'm gonna start the video I just want to apologize again for the lighting again. It is cloudy outside It's starting to become winter and it's like 4 p.m. Right now So it's getting darker and darker So I hope that at the end of the video the lighting will still look like this and it won't be even worse so just that you know but today I am gonna film my December no it is November wrap-up and December TBR which is crazy 2017 is almost over guys and I hope that I will go out with a bang reading wise but first let's talk about the books that I read in November so first off I finished Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling. J.K. JK Rowling. I didn't read this version. I read the Dutch uh, book of it, but I left it in my dorm. I think I still gave it like a five out of five stars, but to be honest, this is my least favorite Harry Potter book of them all. And I think that's a really unpopular opinion. I think that most people think that the Chamber of Secrets is their least favorite Harry Potter book. Well, I think this one, because about half of the book they're only traveling and escaping and making sure that nothing bad happens to Harry, Ron, and Hermione, especially Harry, while they are trying to discover what the Horcruxes are, where they are, how they can destroy them, etc, etc. And after like half of the book, the fun really starts in my opinion and it's just my least favorite Harry Potter book. I can't change it, I think. I need to reread Chamber of Secrets and the rest of the series again to really be sure, but for now I'm gonna say this one. Still loved it. Uh, it's just so weird that it's over, like I cannot comprehend it. Next up, after I finished The Deathly Hallows, I could finally read a book that I've owned for over I think about one and a half years right now, a little less than that, and that is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child Parts 1 and 2 based on an original new story by J.K. Rowling, John Tiffany, and Jack Thorne. This is the play script of that <laughs> and uh, the no 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 just no I think I gave this a two or a two and a half out of five stars this story frustrated me so much the only reason why I enjoyed reading it was because it was quick and that's the only reason this definitely did not add anything amazing or new to the Harry Potter world in my opinion. The only good thing about this book is Scorpius Malfoy and that's about it. I hated the story. Uh, these characters that we know and that we, you know, we love are so different from the original books. So if you are weary about picking this up, I'd say you are not missing out. Don't read it. I wish that I did not read this at all, but yeah, the eighth story 19 years later. Well, that's no, it's not the eighth story. It, it's not, it's non-existent. After that, I wanted to read something that was not fantasy and that was hopefully a little bit better and that is Slammed by Colleen Hoover. This book is about Lakin and her father died a couple of months ago and right now she's moving to this little town somewhere in a state of the United States of America. I don't know which state, but she moves to this tiny town there with her mom and her brother and the neighbor is very handsome and very cute and adorable, but then she finds out, she finds out that it's actually her teacher in high school and mm, it was just quick. Uh, it's my least favorite Colleen Hoover book until so far. I'd give it a three out of five stars. It just was okay, like an okay in-between read. This wasn't for me. I did not like Lakin. I did not really like, what was his name? Will, I think? Yeah. I wasn't really interested in the love interest and the writing style, which is kind of cringeworthy, but I do think this was the first book that was published that Colleen Hoover wrote. So I feel like her newer books are definitely better, but I still have a couple of them that I haven't read yet. Like I said, nice for like fluffy in between thing, but definitely not my favorite book of the year. Those are the books that I finished in November. Right now, let's go on to the book that I'm currently reading. So that's like right in between my November wrap up and my December TBR. And that is Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. And I was, after like slammed, I was in such like a, I wanted to read something fantasy or maybe I didn't really know what I wanted. I did know that I kind of wanted to read Warcross, but it still hadn't arrived. But I remember that I still had Ready Player One by Ernest Cline on my shelves for like over two years right now, which is a video game book story sci-fi thing. I'm so good at explaining things. I have read until so far 226 out of the 372 pages, so I'm 
halfway through, more than halfway through, and I love the writing style. There are a ton of 80s references in this book. The outside world is shit, but the people that live in our world of 2045 love the Oasis, which is like a virtual reality world. You can visit thousands, maybe even millions of planets and do your own thing, your own journey, and oh my lord. But that is not where the story starts off. So the story starts off with one of the creators of the Oasis of this virtual reality dying, but he doesn't have any offspring that he can give like his money and his success to. So he starts this contest for someone who needs to find the big easter egg and when you find the big easter egg you get all of one of the creators, his belongings and his money and stuff like that. It has a ton of 80s references in it and I don't get 95 out of 100% of them, but I still love learning about the 80s. I'm looking up a ton more things right now and it just makes me feel really happy. Unfortunately, I haven't picked it up for I think about like three days right now and I really want to again because I love the writing style, I love the pace of the story. Pick it up please. Now on to my real full December TBR. So first up, I think that after I finish Ready Player One, I want to read something contemporary. Maybe, well, I don't think this book is fluffy, but something that I hopefully will get through rather quickly because I'm gonna have finals again in one and a half and three weeks, so I don't know how much time I will have to read. But for that, I want to pick up Wonder by RJ Palacio. Palacio? I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but this book just came out as a movie, I think, in the cinema. So that is also one reason why I want to read it. One of my friends on Bookstagram, Booktube, Joni, if you are watching this, hey girl, she made me buy this in a beautiful bookstore in Maastricht in the Netherlands. She loves this book so much, so she definitely made me, like, she convinced me enough to finally pick this book up, uh, but now I, I still need to read it, you know? I know that this is about a kid who is deformed like his face, as you can kind of tell from the cover. It's just not as most faces and he gets kind of bullied for that and you follow his story from that point on and I actually really want to see the movie. I don't know when it is in the Netherlands yet but I will definitely have to watch it after I read the book. After Wonder I will probably want to read something fantasy again so I have two options for this because I think it might be a little bit too ambitious if I want to read two more books after Wonder in the month of December because of my big ass finals. So my first option is Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. This is the the second book in the Grisha trilogy. I picked up Shadow and Bone. Yeah, Shadow and Bone last year. I enjoyed it, but I've forgotten quite a lot of the story and I just really want to continue on with this trilogy so that I can pick up Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. Yes, like that duology. I know that you don't have to read the Grisha trilogy first, but I just, I am so like, I need to do that. That's just in my mind how it works. I do hope that the story of Siege and Storm will be better than the story of Shadow and Bone because I really love the beginning of Shadow and Bone but then I just got like a little bit like meh. And my second option which I'm leaning right now I'm leaning more towards this than Siege and Storm but who knows. Uh, the second option is A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. The second book in the Darker Shade of Magic trilogy. This is a new adult I think. I mean I feel like young adult people could read this too because I'm like in between young adult and new adult fantasy novel. <laughs> Jeez, that was a long sentence. I hauled A Conjuring of Light, the third book in this trilogy in my last video. So if you guys want to see that, you can go to my channel and watch my latest book haul. And because of that, I'm feeling extra motivated to uh, pick up the second book in the series. I loved A Darker Shade of Magic, one of the best books that I've read in 2017. And I have just heard so many great things about the rest of the trilogy. I want to go back to this world. I want to go back to Kel. I want to go back to Lila Bard. I just, I need to know what's gonna happen next even though I already forgot a lot of the plot line again but I just need to remind and refresh I need to refresh my mind guys the talking problems are because I am always tired I slept five hours tonight so blame it on that that was my wrap-up for November and my TBR for December so let me know in the comments down below what you are planning on reading this month in December I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos you guys can also follow me on all of my different social media pages I of course have a Goodreads Instagram Snapchat plus an email address so if you guys also want to send me an email links to just all of my social media pages are in the description down below as well Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!